Here's my M2 SSD um, to PCI Express adapter that I'm putting a cooling fan on and a little speed control board. Well, that's actually a 555 timer that can, this fan has a built-in um, PWM input. So this blue wire will actually connect to the out lead there. <clears throat> and then the red is positive and the black is negative and the yellow is a speed control um, or a notification of output. It tells you how fast the fan's spinning that I'm gonna see. I'm gonna tape that off. We don't need that. And it turns out the PCI Express, I got these covered in tape right now so that um, dust from the drill won't get into the connector. Um, this is the 2280 size. This thing you can adjust where that screw is. This fan is actually from a, a laptop. So it's a used fan. It, it's actually not that used. Um, I'm in Hawaii, so there's a little bit of moisture. Corroded a little bit of the steel there, but it's actually a good quality Delta brushless fan that runs off um, five volt by default. See how close I can get here. Oh, there we go, five volt, 0.36 amps. And when I, um, I'm actually running off 3.3 volt, and then with the PWM input signal, it only draws point, um, 0.08 amps, so 80 milliamps at 3.3 volts, a really small current, but it's actually enough to let the thing uh, blow, blow quite a bit of air to cool the fan. I'm almost done drilling these holes. You can see these uh, four holes. I'm, I got two done already. These two um, right there, that one, and the other one are M2 screws that are holding the fan in. And then there's another screw right there that I also drilled that's holding this circuit board in. And I'm going to drill one more hole right here. Okay, here we are back, and I'm going to show you the just the drilling this last hole. I got a tripod for the camera here. So yeah, we turn on this little high-speed drill. And there we go. Okay, here we're back on the desk, and I am going to be soldering on some wires to make this whole thing work. So I've measured with the multimeter already, and these capacitors right here are connected to the 3.3 volt rail. So I'm gonna, and negative is, you probably can't see very well when I have my hand there. But negative is that one, and uh, positive is this side here. So that's our positive and negative. And then I got this little circuit board here. I'm gonna pre-tin these connections a little more. I actually do have a smoke absorber thing right here. It's, you can barely see it out of the picture. Okay, I'm gonna get some tape. This uh, Captain tape works really good if you need to insulate things that may also have high temperature and just any time you need to insulate things that last a long time. So I'm going to put some on the bottom here. It's kind of right in the middle where it's going to, I'm going to flatten these out because the solder got a little bumpy there. And I'll put some more tape on this side. Because there's actually a copper ground plane on the circuit board here. Maybe that'll work better. I have to bear with me on this video as I'm still figuring out how my uh, camera will work. It's probably, yeah, trying to refocus all the time. Okay, and then I got some screws here. These actually barely thread into the circuit board itself because of the 
the size of the hole that I drilled is just big enough for the whole screw. These are some nuts. You see that eight millimeter or six millimeter screw? Just goes through a tad. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a nut on it because I don't want it falling off inside my computer. I think I'll put a drop of super glue on the back of the screw eventually so it doesn't encase it. You don't want a nut rattling around in your computer case. Okay, so those are both screwed on now. We've got some insulation between. And then I think I will screw this in. The fan, um, the screws are actually going into metal and the hole is small enough that they do self-thread into the metal and I think that's going to be a close enough to permanent bond. You can see it right there. So I'm not going to bother putting a nut inside. Line up the two holes. There we go. Okay. So now you can see our basic connections we've got here. And I should have just unsoldered this ACT connector because I'm not going to use that anyway. For now. So I'm going to pre tin these connections. For the ground run, I'll roughly cut it off about there. VCC about there. I'll strip these with these cutters. We're trying a bit of a different camera here. Our video recording software. Let's see how it goes. Okay. It's okay that those two are soldered together because that whole side is soldered together. But you probably should measure continuity. After doing something like this. Before plugging it into your motherboard. Okay, so we got ground and positive connected to the fan. And the yellow one we're not going to use because that's the speed output. Let's put that behind for now. I'm going to tape that off eventually. Um, looks like I can do that out now. It's the furthest one here, so it won't be in the way of the other wires I'm going to put on. So I'm holding it right above the out connection. If you can see that, I probably can't, I guess. And then ground is in the middle. And maybe that's a better viewpoint, I'm not sure. I'm going to solder on the ground lead now. This is just giving power to this little PWM board with the 5 timer. And the VCC. Okay. Everything should be connected. Let's turn 
bring this on to the, we'll just put on the normal ohms setting. So you can see there, 1.2, that's good. Um, so if I measure between BCC and ground, I should get some reading at 498. That's probably normal, not too low. Right there's the, where the 3.3 .3 volt comes in. So 190K. So we should be good there. Make sure it's the same here. Oh, yeah, it's changing because the capacitors are charging and things. But it's not a dead short, so that's probably good. And then I think I will actually connect up my 3.3 volt power supply to make sure this whole thing works. Which might, I guess the easiest way is going to be to apply power to this thing. So I got my power supply on 3.3 volt, connect ground to here. Oh, there we go, the fan turns on. And it's barely audible with the uh, at this speed. Without the speed controller, it'd be a lot louder than it is, and it would just blow more dust into the everything. So there you go. Let me try to get a good view of it all. So here it is with the SSD going in. Um, to put these things in, you do it at a, the angle, basically a, a 30 degree angle where it goes in really easily. And then you gently bend it down and the screw part should line up. And just snug this screw up and there it is. The Evo 960 Samsung cooling unit.